Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. I recently posted on my Instagram page this single pop stick of gel polish marbling and I was asked if I would create a video and show how I created it. So in this video I'm going to be showing you three different ways to marble using gel polish. In the description box below you'll find a list of products I've used to create them. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and please make sure you have the bell notification on and please also like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I'm using my silicon hand and I've already started with the gel polish application and I'll be showing you what I use as I go through the video. So I've already applied a layer of the Kiki London rubber base coat to the middle nail and I've cured that for 30 seconds. So on the other two nails, I've applied a layer of Kiki London Buttercup. This is from their Spring 2019 collection. Now you don't have to apply a base color. I did because I wanted a nice cuticle area and sidewall area. And if I missed any bits when marbling it, it wouldn't matter too much. But I'm just applying a nice thin even coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. As I said, I am covering it and it's just mainly for that sidewall and cuticle area. So once I've applied that layer, I will give that a full cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. I like to give gel polish colors a full cure for 60 seconds. Now that's cured, for the gel polish marbling, I'm using two of the new Neon Vibes colors from Kiki London, My Lava and Yellow Caution. I didn't use Yellow Caution for the base as it is a little on the sheer side. I wanted something a bit more opaque. I have my pointy silicon tool. I went through quite a few different tools until I found what worked for me and this is what worked best for me. It just worked brilliantly. So I'm just going to pick up a small bead of the yellow caution and I'm just going to add some small dots to the nail. The tacky layer is still in place on the base colour. I'll then add a few dots of my lava to the nail as well. I've still not cured anything yet. When using the yellow and orange, I did find it better to use more yellow than orange. I'll check the brushes before putting them back into the bottles because I don't want to contaminate any of the bottles. Then with my silicon tool, I'm going to make a pretty pattern. There is no right or wrong way. I'm just swirling the colors together, but not too much though. Otherwise it can turn into a muddy looking mess. You'll see that I'm rolling the tool to keep that clean when swirling and if I need to add any more gel polish then I will as needed. I will try to keep the gel away from flooding the sidewalls and cuticle area. Now this I will say isn't my preferred way of doing gel marble but it still looks really good though and I'm trying to keep it as thin as possible. But once I'm happy, I'll give that a full cure for 60 seconds. Now I am only using my 6 watt sun mini lamp and it worked perfectly for the gel marble. I'll top coat them all at the end and I'll move on to the middle nail. Now for this, I sort of stumbled across this way when I was creating these two pop sticks. I was having a bit of a play around. So I'll start the same way I did for the first nail. So base coat, cure, base colour, cure and then I'm going to add the small dots of both of the gel polishes again. I'll then start to swirl the gel polish together but I'll also add in a sort of tapping or dabbing motion to blend the colours together better. By using the tapping motion it just works really well and I prefer how the colours have all blended together. I personally think that it's a much nicer looking gel polish marble. That is just my thoughts on it, but it is a really easy way of creating it as well. You'll see if I again need to add any more color, I will and I'll make sure that I cover the base layer. Like I said, you could cut out the base layer if you wanted to. Again, I'm keeping the gel away from the sidewalls and cuticle area. And once I'm happy with the blend, I'll give that a full cure for 60 seconds. 
you need to give any gel polish marble a really good cure and they look really nice and they have cured well i've had zero curing issues with the gel polish marbles which i've created this was one of my biggest concerns when I started doing these gel polish marbles and that's why I've only until recently started doing them but they are super super easy just remember to give them a good cure keep the layers thin and you shouldn't have any problems so for the third nail I have my silicone mat I love using this it cleans really well so I'm going to paint a layer of yellow caution down onto the silicone mat I've created a square but you could also do a circle again personal choice once I'm happy with my layer and that it's not too thick I'm then going to drop a few drops of my lava into the yellow caution I'm then going to take my silicon tool and swirl the gel polish together again not too much though I'm creating the gel polish marble on the mat once I'm happy, I'm taking my gel brush, which is slightly damp. I've just used isopropyl alcohol, and I'm gonna scoop up a section of the gel polish marble that I've created. I'm then going to lay that down onto the nail, but it's going to be with the non-gel side down. And then I'm just going to pull the gel brush away, and that's going to leave the gel polish marble effect behind. It is a super effective way of creating a gel polish marble and it is also really easy. I will wipe my brush out every time that I go back in for more, but I'll just add where I feel it needs it. Even if it's just a little bit of dab of color here and there. This is actually the only second time I've tried this, but it is much more of a subtle gel polish marble effect but I really like it. Now you could cure this and then come in again over the top if you wanted to. You could also add some glitter as well to give a sparkly effect, but it is a super cool effective way of creating it and very, very different from the other two. Now when curing, make sure your mat and brush are well out of the way of the lamp. But again, I'll give this a full cure for 60 seconds. So three very easy ways of creating the gel polish marble. I've seen plenty of people do the gel polish marble, but as I was so unsure about the curing, I haven't tried it until recently. There is plenty of videos on gel polish marbling here on YouTube. There are plenty of different ways to create them as well. These are just how I've created them. So for the top coating, I'm using the Kiki London No White Rubber Top Coat. This is hands down my favorite top coat to use. I'm going to apply a nice floaty layer over each of the nails. Now, I didn't find that the nails were massively lumpy and bumpy. So one nice floating layer will cover everything really well. You could, however, go in with a couple of layers of just normal regular top coat as well and that would work just fine however with using the rubber top coat you could file this to smooth it all over but these nails really didn't need it i'll give these nails a full cure for 60 seconds so as i said three really easy ways to create the gel polish marble nail if this video has inspired you to create a gel polish marble now that you've seen me do it make sure you tag me in your posts on instagram i would love to see them i definitely prefer the second and the third nail the most so these nails are now finished i know i'll definitely be doing more gel polish marble manis in the future now that i found that they are so easy to do i hope this video has been helpful i've really enjoyed creating a very different video for my channel these nails and swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my gel polish marble tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye.